Continuing with the breaking news, bringing you the latest from now, Maui, which has changed forever as the result of these devastating fires that have now destroyed Lahaina. Just in this morning, the Federal Emergency Management Agency has okayed the use of federal funds to help fight this fire. Now, we do know about 7,500 people have been evacuated from the area. Kihei residents were also told to leave their homes, but now Kihei residents are being allowed to return. Yeah, and our Chelsea Davis has been covering the fires on Maui for hours. Chelsea joins us now live. And what can you tell us at this point, Chelsea? Well, Steve, Grace, uh, not too long ago, uh, everyone's uh, phones went off with an alert, and I'm going to read it for you. Um, it says, public safety alert, Maui Fire and Maui Police have cleared Kihei residents to return to their homes. So that is good news. Kihei residents, again, allowed to return to their homes. This is an emergency alert that came to everyone's phones here on Maui, at least right here from the Maui Emergency Management Area. They're also asking people to drive safely as they return to their homes because there are still public safety personnel operating in many areas. So we know there are uh, firefighters are battling multiple brush fires west side of country area. We know Kihei as well. People were evacuated last night, but this new information coming to us this morning that Kihei residents getting the all clear to return to Kihei. And again, that's on the south side of the island. But right here where I am, it's in Ma'alaya, and this is the safest place I can be um, and the closest place I can be to those wildfires that are raging still yet on the west side of the island. Maui police have this area completely shut down. They're not letting anyone through, only allowing people to leave. And you can see this trail of cars coming out behind me because, again, it is not safe. We're hearing and we have visuals and video that was sent to us this morning of the devastation out there of down power lines. We're hearing multiple down poles. So the area is not safe. You're looking at video that was sent to us about an hour ago from a viewer out there. And this is Lahaina Luna Road. And you can see those down lines that I was talking about uh, and just the devastation there. So we're getting um, glimpses of the aftermath and again it is still active it, it, the fire is still happening right now we've been talking about the winds and just how bad it is um it's no sign of it letting up whatsoever as a matter of fact i want to say as the morning goes on it seems and it feels as if the winds are just getting stronger that's what it feels like at least in ma'alaya where i'm at right now now all morning long i've been seeing um water tankers go in so I'm not sure what, what that indicates. I don't want to read too much into it, but it, it kind of seems as if maybe um, water may be limited on the west side because even um, throughout the night and since I've been here, I've just seen uh, water tankers head to the west side. So um, they're, they're sending in resources to help the firefighters that have been battling this fire for over 24 hours now. Um, so that's the latest from Ma'alaya. Steve, Grace, back to you. All right. Thank you, Chelsea, for the latest on that. Uh, all right. Let's check in with Guy Hagi for more on the wind. Guy?